while Heidi was home back with 41 years of meals and Boone and I generally enjoyed this one okay so it's set now Canterbury Times and it's called Faking It to Make It by Abby Blake okay read the blurb <laughs> a di dilemma a deal a date charmer Nate McKenzie be in the middle of a plus one dilemma for his friend's wedding in of his recent days he'll start dreaming of a solitaire for the rain that hand whilst Joe and the stag will leave him at the mercy was set up by his ever hopeful sisters it's going that Saskia Bloom is doing an online dating research for a website. He strikes a deal. She take the research while in a relationship and he get a fake date. There may be no choice of sexual attraction between them, but as complete opposites, will it ever be convincing of a happy ever after? Okay. Now I generally enjoyed this one because it's set in contemporary times and it's just it's just really, really well written. Obviously it's a typical Mills and Boone novel, if you will. But like the way it opens. Now one thing I absolutely love about Saskia is that She's an absolute dork. I love her. She's an absolute geek. Okay, and as a member of the Geek Nation myself, I understood where she was coming from as well. Alright, this bit here. This is when the case she is just doing some research. Okay. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. The photo of the next guy was giving her a fright, she flinched. Bird lover twenty eight had tufty hair, wore grimace rather than a smile, and a chicken on his shoulder. A live one, do you hope? Favourite TV show, Doctor Who, the original. S Sundays are for garage sales. Zippy Crush, Tire Banks, looking for fun in all the wrong places. Right. Alas, Saskia will not be partaking of said fun, but even though it had been several months since she'd been booted back into the dating pool, she wasn't on our looking for the one or a Saturday night special as, pos or as one possibility as so gallantly offered. She's just doing this research. I can't make that okay, maybe it's just me, but. Favorite Doctor Show, Doctor Who. Sundays are for garage sales. Somebody crush try banks. Um Okay. Maybe not tire banks. Okay. So but she is a total total dog. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right. This is because this is what she um this is what she's like looking for. Okay. Right. Mm hmm If a man who loved coffee as much as she did, had awesome taste in literature and looked enough like a young Paul Newman to just a dual epidemic had reached his thirties and finding someone what would it take? When a massive Big Bang Theory mug appeared next to Saskia's elbow, she nearly jumped out of her skin. She owns her darkness. She's a total, total geek. I wanted more of that. You know, in Super King Fiction, okay, there's not, much, not many, many geeks. And we need more geeks in fiction. Okay. So. But this is when, this is when, um, she connects with Nate and this is this, this is her profile, okay. This bit here. Favorite pizza top in ham and red peppers. Favorite music retro grunge. If I could be anywhere in the world, I'd be right where I am. You're a bit boring, Saskia, and that. Looking for someone to talk to. So he decides he's going to. Nate's going to meet up with this woman, okay, as this proposition of everyone's on basically my case. I need to be with someone for this wedding. What the hell? Let's um, let's meet. I always ask you, Bloom, and she agrees. And one thing is, Kate, okay, I don't know. Let's think very, very kind of millennial, okay, about about um, Saskia. This bit here, okay. Mm -hmm. Right, this bit here. This is where okay, they first meet up. You can kind of tell where this is going. Mama Rita's a ten restaurant in Fitzroy with dark central and bohemian hospital for artists and hipsters. If conversation was your bag, the beer garden of the back race or beer and reeked of sweet smoke. For, for, Philosophical thinker, or the ph philosophical thinker. I'm sorry. Right, so dolled up in her favourite batnik pants, sandals made in Nepal, and upcycled stuff she made herself from an old T-shirt. Just to set a filling with a piece of string she tied around her waist to remind her of something, with scientific anticipation as she watched a man who just walked through the front door. Yeah, she is very kind of bohemian millen uh, millennial. Okay, and the fact is, the reason why Saskia is there as well is the fact is that she's got a debt. Her ex-boyfriend, Colin Mills and Boone, of course. Okay, if there's an ex, it's always a nasty piece of work. Mm -hmm. And he basically screwed Saskia over, stole her money, stole basically everything, and uh, left her with the dog. Okay, there we go. Mm -hmm. Right, this bit here. You have a debt. I have means to wipe it from existence, and you have need of a date to my friend's wedding, and you seem amicable. 
so amenable to the terms and conditions that come with be, being said date. You pay off my debt and I pretend to be devoted to you. To ease into a smile, this time so essential. A fizzle of energy lit her belly and she felt a suddenly to swallow. Seems more than fair. Seems like a version of the oldest profession, she muttered. Right. Right. I pretend boyfriend, a date to wedding. No more red envelopes and reminders of stewing it or his letter. The time and the means to get back to renovating the first place you'd ever rightfully called home. Right. Because obviously, next switch, of course, of course. So. But I don't know, the fact is, the fact is, okay, is the way they describe, okay, because Nate is all business. Nate's all business. And Saskia, the way she's described, okay, because she's a geek and she's a dork and she's out there, okay? Right, is this, this bit here. Mm hmm this bit here. Right. This is when they're meeting up again, right? A hair was tucked, been the same fedora from my online profile picture. A leg was swimming in wide calf skin and pants. It looked like they'd been cut from a hessian sack. Sandals were tied up over her ankles and she wore a brown cardigan she nearly got lost in and a scarf long enough to do that a lesser woman would have stooped under its weight. It's actually just something like bloody Doctor Who. It, it does. I got Doctor Who vibe from that. It's what she wears. You know, because she's all free-spirited and she's all like this and she's all that. Yeah, opposites are really, really attractive. Okay, and this pays a lot of attention to literature as well, um, because Saskia obviously is a geek, she's into literature, and there was a lot of that running through this game. These guys are meeting up, getting to know each other, going on like pseudo dates, and and that kind of thing. Right, here you go. This bit here. This is when they came. Um, right. This bit here. Nate's looking over her um, her house. There you go. Right. It's so when you hear her favourite books, movies, TV shows as a tumble of odd and wonderful nuances meshed together from a picture of not just a salty eyes and a kissable lips, but a woman. The present bride nestled alongside the aliens on the breakfast club. Ray Bradbury butted up against so everything instead of John McKay. And literature of real life adventures flew before his eyes. Right. I have got no idea if I walked into my room right now and looked around and came to my DVDs in that cupboard, which is just anime, a lot of anime, and uh, books about Japan, and DVD bookcases, which are just full of books. I wouldn't know what opinion that they would have of me, okay, but still. Yeah, so these guys, these guys are kind of real real opposites of trap they seem to be getting on really really well it's kind of like a revelation for both of them and one can be all business and now one can be just the biggest nerd on the planet i think i've ever read in the mills and boone however i do like the way saskia was written she is such a well-rounded grounded character as well she's very very jaded after Stu basically ripped her life apart nate's he's kind of got this thing in his mind okay he has to kind of save or protect women that's because of his um um his family as well this bit here mm -hmm. now one thing i also did like as well is that this book does have gay representation in it okay because talking about his sister hope okay now hope was um mid argument with her girlfriend tanya it's very very rare in a mills of renown case of any kind of gay representation and i did really really appreciate that because when you also meet these sisters as well they seem very grounded and also very kind of real as well the characters in this book feel so real and i like that this bit here the Mackenzie women were tough and compromising. He felt a small swift kick of pride in the fact that he where they all been 20 years before. The way it might have been turned out differently if he hadn't done any everything to make sure that they felt safe, secure, loved and protected. He hadn't given every ounce of his heart and soul and a little more to give them the safety net from which they were to leap out into the world. Right. Because after his father... Um, passed away he kind of had to kind of step into that role and the fact is that he never really, he has to start letting his guard down a little bit more okay right mm -hmm. but the thing is is this even though okay they're getting along and the families love each other and they seems to like them as a couple is i like the fact and also there's a subplot with Stu as well um which is kind of dealt with swiftly okay because Stu comes back in his eyes Jessica tells him where to go and they goes on quickly after that okay right this bit here mm -hmm. right 
But the fact is, okay, that even though Wally R is a good place and they're just faking it and maybe having more of it, Saskia, I did like the fact that she's had enough in the gate and where they're trade and she actually wants more. And I like that. She's not a pathetic Mills and Boone character. She knows exactly what she wants. I love this. Let's be here. Mm -hmm. All right. The truth is, I like to meet a guy, date him, meet his family for real, swap keys, move in together, get married, have kids. Nate came over all pale and spoiled as if his mouth was filled with sand. All right. And there we have it, folks. What? Don't you back the class out. Well, do you blame me? He was pacing. Your feet steps and walking me down the aisle, which is actually the kind of hell I was hoping to avoid of finding a date online. All right. She tells him what she wants. She wants that. She's clear of her intentions. There's no game playing with her. And, but the thing is, Nate, Nate is the one, okay, who can't, who can't deal. Saskia makes the feelings clear, okay? And Nate's response isn't really kind of down okay, with a honest conversation. It's the kind of, in a way, to self-sabotage it. It's for here, okay? Because when he's chatting to his family, he's, he tells them, you know, not been going out for so long, that they're pre-engaged. Right. And you know, it has to be explained what this means. He told the family we are pre-engaged. Pre-engaged? Gabe, that's a friend, repeated, when Nate said nothing at all. All right. Saskia's fiery gaze shot to Gabe and he stuck out a hand on the hip. And I, I know, right? What the hell is pre-engaged anyway? A man made up for sure as a way to get out of um, actually being engaged. All right. Just get, it's just family off his back because Saskia says we're pre-engaged. You see what I mean? Okay, you're self-sabotaging. Okay? And it's because... He, it's pain, he's paying these stupid little games until he figures out his own head. And eventually, okay, he does. He does. Here you go. Right. Right. But the thing is, even when, okay, they're splitting up, okay, Nate's, Nate's basically trying to say, okay, you, I'm not good enough for you. That's the way he actually feels about it. It's a bit here. You'll be fine, Saskia Bloom. I know it. I knew the first moment I saw your picture. You're content. You have your house, your dog, your work, your friends. Your life is a groove that's made for you. I envy you for that. I want more, she said, as he close to missing anything at right. When you told me you wanted a relationship back at the K that night when you refused to come home with me, you talked about me and a guy moving in together, getting married. Mm-hmm. You never much mentioned being in love. Saskia nodded, then got herself pity fed and shook her head a little as she tried to run out the memory in its entirety. Of course I did. No, they said you didn't. But she did. She wanted to be in love and love with so much of herself. Her lungs tightened to fierce at the very full, and yet she couldn't open her mouth to say so. That's the thing. Saskia wants this whole kind of love and marriage, all that kind of stuff. But love is seems kind of comes secondary. Okay? Right. But, of course, it's the Mills and Boone. They took it out. They get it sorted out. And one thing I did like about it, it's the strength of the writing. There you go. And in the end, Saskia wants, like, in a way, she kind of wants order and structure. And Nate wants order and structure, but they also need to have fun with it as well. And that's one thing I liked about this, is that she went on this to find some statistics, this online dating. They went there to find a date to a friend's wedding, okay? So their intentions are actually quite similar. They weren't looking for love, but they found it. And they, it scared them both. Let's put it here. Right. Love is scary and magical and bittersweet and special and hard and wonderful and all the best things that can ever happen to you in life. And he looked at his sisters, all strong women, all nodding. Although come out the other side of able to throw their hearts into the ring, or hopeful he might still. That's the thing. So they break up, but actually do get back together. They actually try and make it work, okay? I like the fact that okay, it doesn't end with the Mills and Boone ring, okay? That's really, really clever. It ends with them pretty much living together, okay? And just trying to make it work. It ends actually refreshing. They're not married, they're not engaged. They're living together and trying to make it work. And that's realistic and actually really refreshing. So I liked this one. I liked it. Faking it to make it. See, Faking it to making it by Ali Blake. It's a contemporary kind of fresh look at online dating, Mills and Boone. You have characters who are not pathetic. I still call Mills and Boone heroin, okay, who knows exactly what she wants in life, but actually needs to work on it. And a Mills and Boone hero who has to kind of really look into himself. I enjoyed. Well done. Ali Blake, well done. It's nice having a geek as a, as a character. Thank you. So, sign up here for when you're the Mills and Boone. Bye now.